Breaking news. Breaking news. I can't believe this. Robert Whitaker is hurt. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this. Sound the alarms. Robert Whitaker is injured. No more title fight. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Your main event now is Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silver. No. What the fuck? Tell me this is not true. It is. I paid for the pay-per-view already. What the fuck? Jesse. Jesse. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Robert Whitaker's hurt. I almost had a heart attack. Ah! Breaking news! The chat room is upset. What the fucks? It is the goddamn truth. All right, stop the music. Jesse. Jesse. Breaking news. Yep. Robert Whitaker is out. Yeah. Hurt, injured. Mm -hmm. What is the story? Okay. According to CBS Sports, just hours before, UFC 234 in his home country of Australia history has sadly repeated itself for Robert Whitaker, who will miss his middleweight title defense in the main event of the show against Kelvin Gastelum. UFC President Dana White confirmed to ESPN's Brett Okamoto on Saturday that Whitaker has been forced to pull out of his title defense in the main event due to a hernia. This comes one year after Whitaker, in February 2018, was unable to defend his middleweight title in Australia due to injury. Whitaker, who successfully weighed in on Friday was experiencing pain in his admin abdomen last evening and was immediately taken to the hospital where he was diagnosed. While this has not yet been confirmed, the champ may have to undergo a procedure to correct the issue, which of course would place him on the shelf again. It's expected the co-main event featuring the legendary Anderson Silva taking on the up-and-coming Israel Adesanya will be pushed to the main event slot per Okamoto. What the fuck? <laughs> Is this the first pay-per-view ever that did not have any sort of title on it? Uh, I, I don't know of any. I can't remember. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Maybe. If you're just jumping in, Whitaker is injured. Mm -hmm. He's always injured, apparently. Right. And the fight is off. Adesanya versus Anderson Silva, which I am excited about, but not as a main event. This is this is this is the problem with UFC, the UFC. It's ridiculous. They put together these weak ass cards. And then one injury destroys everything. Mm -hmm. It was so top-heavy with two fights. Right. How do you expect us to pay for this shit? I bought the pay-per-view this morning. This is for the first time. I woke up this morning, and let me explain what happened here. Okay? We have to buy the pay-per-views because we do the streams. We do the reactions, the live reactions. So this morning, I wake up, and I'm like, shit, I got rid of Fight Pass. I got to buy this pay-per-view. How do I do this? And then I realized you can still buy it without having Fight Pass. And then I realized after that, that the pre-prelims are still on Fight Pass. I am so confused. You have ESPN Plus. You have Fight Pass. You have pay-per-views. How much money do you need from us, UFC? It's ridiculous. How much money do you need to suck out of our pockets? You put together this weak-ass card. And then your boy gets hurt. Now there's no title fight. This is complete bullshit. It's it's unbelievable stuff. I, I, I don't even know what to... I am a, at a loss for words here. Seriously. UFC 235 looks fantastic. UFC 234 is hot trash. Mm. And then you get... Then this happens here. And you give us Adesanya versus Anderson Silva as your main event. This should not be a pay-per-view. It should not be a pay-per-view. It's a shame. It's a travesty. And let's see what the chat has to say. Oh. Super chat. We got a super chat coming in. I was already going to be dubs. I don't feel bad. <laughs> so WMMA scene is fine. Meat Chip says I agree. Too many platforms. FTWBK says when did he get injured? He, well, it looks like he got he was feeling pain yesterday, and then uh, he ended up going to the doctor and was pre 
announce announcing a hernia today. So yesterday, I would assume. How about uh, this? How about this? Tyron Woodley, right? I mean, there, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, the main event is Adesanya versus Silva. Right. But how is Tyron Woodley not going up, right? Not going up. Maybe being a double champ with an interim belt. You should fucking throw an interim belt out there. Why not a rematch of Gaslam versus Woodley over here? Like, that would be a boss move, right? Mm -hmm. I know he's fighting Usman. Yeah. It would, Why it not? Make sense to Why not something like that? Like, what the fuck is going on here? It, it is it is ridiculous that, one, we have only one title fight on this card. Mm -hmm. On a card that has a fighter that's always injured. Robert Whitaker is always injured. Mm -hmm. So you put all your fucking eggs in one basket. The poor people in Australia have their man here, and now he's off the card. What I find so interesting is that all of these other cards in the past, UFC 232, uh, 231, um, all of those fights, they had a backup fighter. They had someone who weighed in, who was training for, for, for a five-round fight just in case someone pulled out, and this time they didn't do that, which is very bizarre to me because one of the least reliable fighters, as far as injuries go, should have a backup fighter, and they didn't do that for this card. Yeah, why would they do that on this card, right? I mean, Robert Whitaker never gets hurt, right? That never happens. The day of the fight, he gets hurt. Now, listen, injuries happen. It's not really Whitaker's fault. Shit happens. This is the fucking UFC's fault for putting together one of the shittiest cards of all time. And then your main event gets scrapped? God damn. Ah, super chat. Adonis Jordan. Because Woodley is in Missouri and the card starts in like three hours. Get him over there. <laughs> Fly him over there. Put him on that fucking, uh, I don't know, Black Panther jet and get him on over there. Get him on over to Australia. This is ridiculous. They need to do something with these cards. You I can't think. You can't just fucking have one. I mean, listen, I, I don't give a fuck about belts. I really don't. The reason why they put belts on these cards is to sell pay-per-views. Mm. So at least put some fucking good card uh, fights underneath put a car put a fight underneath you know adesanya versus silva is fun it well, is got, fun you got sam alvey on there oh yeah sam alvey i forgot about him <laughs> no one cares about sam alvey <laughs> no one cares oh my god read the chat room over here i want to fucking vom i am sitting in my underwear boss kogar says a hernia robert zerz's get replacement and f16 what's happened since nikolai robert whitaker has been injured with a hernia and has been pulled out of the ufc 234 main event against kelvin gaslam ole samuel a says nate diaz versus gsp book it jj the killer landrum says uzman is the welterweight is a welterweight dummy king place all right Sam all right Alvey. who said that who said that who said that uh, i can't remember I all right hold on all right let me let me explain this to you how the fuck is someone going to cut weight at the last second? You got to get a welterweight. What? <laughs> Alex Dencanto says a hernia. Did that shit just pop up? They, you uh, got to get a welterweight, all right, Jesse. All right. Oh, wait, let me, when is someone going to mysteriously <laughs> drop? How the fuck is someone okay. going to stay ready? All right. All what right. kind of stupid question is that? Okay. Let me, ah! let me, for those of you guys just tuning in uh, now, um, Robert Whitaker has been experiencing pain over the last day or so. Uh, he was complaining about pain, and today the news came out that he has suffered from a hernia and has been pulled from the UFC 234 card again for his middleweight title against Kelvin Gastelum. So we, the main event will now be Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silva as the main event. All right. All right, I'm breathing now. Okay, let's go over to UFC.com. Let's check out the events. Let's see if they updated it so we can all laugh. Has anyone else... Did anyone else in the chat... Oh, <laughs> this is not happening. This fight's not happening. Update your website, you fucks. You goddamn son of a bitches. You're injured. <laughs> Update your websites. This should be the fucking new thing. It should be welcome to UFC.com. Bink, this is what you see right over here. Robin ba Black style right over there. Whitaker gone. Off the card. Let's see this gem of a card they put together for us. God damn, poor, the poor Australians. Imagine having tickets for this. Like now, I don't know what the refund policy is in Australia. Could you imagine these poor people? Now, your card is loaded up with locals, so that's cool. But your main event gone, and here oh, it is. Super oh, my God. Simply pump. I heard Jakari is ready, so the rematch is there. That's the thing. You would hope that someone's on standby, but no one is. Uh, a, a new tweet by Brett Okamoto. He said, per Dana White, Robert Whitaker is going to surgery today for the hernia issue that forced him off the card. Obviously wishing him the best. 
I'm in my white MMA hole shirt. That means I'm relaxing. I'm in my underwear. I'm in my underwear right now while I'm streaming. Because I did not expect this to happen. So I'm sitting here in the studio in my goddamn underwear. All pissed off. I get a call from my buddy V-Neck. And we find out that this man is hurt. Shocker, right? We're, we're, we're really surprised. So what's the backup plan? Well, here it is. Adesanya versus Anderson Silva. That, that's your main event. It's a fun fight. But it's not in the main event. Especially when you look at the fucking odds. <laughs> Anderson Silva is a fucking plus 470. That's your main event. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Ariel Hawani tweeted five minutes ago. According to a source very close to Robert Whitaker, here's what happened. He started getting abdominal cramps and bloating late last night. Then vomiting started at about 10 p.m. He was taken to the hospital at about 2 a.m. and has had a series of tests and scans and is now in surgery. Well, I hope he gets better. Does Kelvin Gastelum, I'm assuming he's getting paid. So hopefully well, Kelvin gets paid. Ariel also tweeted oh. uh, or retweeted Aaron Bronstitter on ESPN Radio. Ali Abdelaziz also tells Ariel Hawani that Dana White told him that the UFC will, quote, take care of Kelvin. Oh, they, were they going to blow him? What about the fans? Do you take care of the fans? I'm glad Kelvin's taken care of. Uh -huh. What about the people that fucking already paid for the pay-per-view? What about us? Yeah. 20 likes. 40 likes. 20 likes, 20 likes, I've got fucking 20 likes, 20 likes, I've got fucking 20 likes, I hope that this likes die of If you're just jumping in, Robert Whitaker is hurt, no backup plan, here's your backup plan, boom, there, there it is, Adesanya versus Anderson Silva, a completely lopsided fight, now listen, I want Anderson to win this fight, I would, if it would be epic if he does, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, so a layup, Main event, no title on the line, nothing, no juice. It looks like Lando Venata has been moved up, which, you know what? That's a good fight over here. This is on the pre-prelims. I don't have fight pass, so I, won't be able to, I wouldn't be able to see it anyway. So now it looks like this is the, uh, on the uh, main card. Uh, Ronnie Yaya versus Ricky Simon. Good. Montana Del Rosa, Del Rosa versus a Nadia Kassem. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the MMA Holes. Jimmy Crute versus Sam Alvey. Oh, no, 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 I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Fuck this card. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it, it would be an okay fight night. Yeah. That's what it would be. Well, I mean, listen, the card could be fantastic. I'm sorry, Jesse. I don't mean to cut you off. I'm fucking triggered right now. I'm fucking triggered. Uh, go ahead, make your point. That's okay. Go ahead. What's up, Nam? So. I said this before to V-Neck, right? A friend of the show. I said it's probably going to be a really fun card, just fight-wise, right? It doesn't have the flashy names out there, but it's probably going to be a fun f just fight card, and it still could be a good card. But by no means is this a pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. It's an insult that they are actually charging people for this shit. This should be on... E put this on ESPN+. Plus. Put it. Put this on something. Throw it on Fight Pass uh, or something. Super chat. Not on... Wh what are we doing? Shen Wood. Adesanya made championship weight. Gastelum versus Adesanya for the interim title. Shan Wood. Sorry, Anderson. There you go. What about that? I didn't even think of that. This is so fresh. I like that. Why the fuck is that not happening? Adesanya was supposed to be on standby before. He said that he was he was thinking about being on standby, and then he turned it down. This is your chance, right? Why not? Pay off Anderson Silva, right? Take care of him. The poor guy was crying yesterday, for God's sakes. And put out Asanya versus Gaslam. Yes! Perfect cameraman! Life on autopilot! That's a great idea, by the way. Let's see some boobs. Hey, I can see your underwear. Put your boobies in the air. Flapping like I just don't care. Can I lick your pubic, pubic hair? hair? Snap a picture, time to share. Took my meat vision oh, thank God. head. Filthy Ariane. mind, I need a prayer. Pervert cameraman, be Pervert cameraman. Show them tits. Pervert cameraman. $10 tip. Pervert cameraman. Ariane Celeste. All right, life on autopilot. Showing the breasts, boobies. 
Another weak ass card called I'm not part of the UFC PPV market. <laughs> Thank you, Life on Autopilot. I see a lot of people asking again what's going on. Uh, we have 270 people watching. Everyone who's just jumped in, one more time. Robert Whitaker has been injured with a hernia. He is in surgery right now, pulled off of UFC 234 fight card uh, with his middleweight title defense against Kelvin Gastelum. Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silva is now the main event. Now, Shout out to Shan Wood. This didn't even dawn upon me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still trying to process this whole thing, but I like that. Adesanya versus Kelvin Gastelum. Yeah. Why the fuck is that not even an option? I saw someone say that's a bad idea. You should you should off yourself. It didn't say Leroy what herniated. It's just that his he penis. is complaining about pains in his abdomen and he's uh, in surgery. Why now. why isn't Gastelum versus why not? Why why not we why not? Style bender versus Gastelum. At least it's competitive. Now, now, Anderson Silva, he, who knows? Anything can happen in these fights, right? I know he's a heavy underdog. And shout out to Bet DSI. Go make your bets on, well, make your bets on this new main event, Adesanya versus Silva over here on, on Bet DSI. But with Whitaker out, why not Gaslam versus Adesanya? I love that idea. Jess, what do you think about that? Wait, say that again? Adesanya versus Gaslam. Why not? The fuck? <laughs> Shan, you don't like that? You'd rather see a, a yeah, mismatch? I, no, I don't think it's a mismatch. Look at the odds. He's a minus 770. I don't I don't look at the odds, to be quite honest. I I don't think that this fight is a mismatch. In fact, this is a fight that I'm actually really excited to see. I could see why you would say Silva versus Gaslam. I just, I don't know. I think I'd rather see Adesanya versus Silva. What they should have done was have a backup fighter because Robert Whitaker is not a reliable fighter as far as injuries go. That's what they should have done, and they didn't do that for this card. Well, you can you can make an argument that Adesanya technically is the backup fighter. He was supposed to be a backup fighter for this fight. Yeah. And with him on the card, what is this gonna be? A th is this gonna be a three rounder? I mean, they can't make this a five round fight, right? I mean, uh, they didn't train for a fucking five round fight. Well, they pull in um, new dance partners for for people who have been dropped from main events who have only trained for three round fights and they've done five round fights before. So I don't see why they wouldn't make this a five round fight. I mean, Anderson Silva's not going to want to. Look at the, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo didn't want the main event in the last fight because he didn't want to go five rounds. Now you got this 42-year-old Anderson Silva that trained for a three-round fight. I mean, and came place as his five rounds now. Man. Yeah, that's what I was... So I if mean, that's the case, event? take the young buck and throw him up against Gaslam. What are we doing here? Like, like, I like this fight. Don't get me wrong. I like this fight. Mm -hmm. But... Gaslam versus Adesanya for like an interim strap or some shit like that. They throw belts around anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. Let Anderson sit it out. He was crying yesterday. The guy was crying because <laughs> he knows he's going to get this shit kicked out of him. No, he was crying because he's leaving. <sighs> Let's see what the chat says. Smoke something says, I'm going to go murder some puppies now. Fuck, Please I'm do. So Kill them all. Savant says, LOL, Torkin signed one. Whitaker was probably by, or, or was probed by an alien. So sad. A Bright says, card is pissed upon. Two joints. JBH is correct there. Should it ba be backup fighters? Right? I feel, I don't think that they should have backup fighters for every fucking, every fucking um, fight sense, on the main though. card. But for the main events and the co-main events, it should, it should happen. Because too many times have we seen fighters pull out for injury or pull out for, for this or that. And they don't have a fucking fight, and then it just ruins the entire card. Everyone in the chat, express your thoughts right now. We have 350 people watching. If you're just tuning in, Robert Whitaker is injured. He's, his bowl sack is hurt or something. What, does he have a hernia? <laughs> he, has a hernia. he was complaining about pains in his abdomen. He was throwing up. He went to the hospital, found out he had a hernia, and he's currently in surgery. Now, this should be the backup here. We've seen this before, right? Mm -hmm. This should be. I didn't even think about this, right? And Shamwood pointed this out through the donation over there. This is a middleweight bout, right? Adesanya is pretty much, if he wins this fight, they're going to throw a title. They even said Anderson Silva, if he wins the fight, they're going to throw a title shot at him. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, and this is going to be a five-round fight, well, then why not pluck one of these two and go for it? Unless a a Anderson Silva was kicking and screaming. I, I mean, I don't know. But you got to think they're trying to save a pay-per-view here. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. You got Jordan Alex. I figured it out. It's Lando Vanada. This motherfucker is in the co-main event of a PPV for now a second time. Mm -hmm. Last time this happened, Khabib and Ferguson fell through. 
And now Vanada is booked and suddenly Whitaker is out coincidence. <laughs> I think not. That's mm-hmm. a good theory. That's a good theory there. L- Lando, Never thought about that. Right? Lando Vanada was on the pre-prelims. Now <laughs> he's, he's a co-main event. He's uh, somehow magically getting fighters to pull from their main events just so that he can be the co-main. Uh, Lino uh, saying about uh, Brett, uh, hello, Bet DSI. Yes, they are the real deal. They've been doing this for 20 years. It's the most reliable way to gamble. We've done it. It's very legit. We wouldn't have it as a sponsor if it wasn't. So there's a link in the description if you do want to play some wagers. And your main event now has been switched around. Anderson Silva is, hold on, let's go over here. Let's see if the odds have changed. That's a good question. I don't know if they had gotten to it that quick. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. But Anderson Silva is fighting Adesanya as your main event. And the UFC. Venata's a heavy favorite, too. You got you got a one-two punch of two lopsided fights here. So Anderson Silva, wow, it's it's evened up a little bit. Now it's a, a plus 376. Still, it's still pretty lopsided over here. But it's changed a little bit ever since Gastelum is not fighting Whitaker anymore. So if you're jumping in, Robert Whitaker injured, Anderson Silva versus Adesanya is your main event. And now it's a plus 376 you're getting for Anderson Silva. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, let's see what the chat says over here. We'll wind this down. We'll still be live for the event tonight. So if you're not subscribed, give us a sub, and we will be doing a live reaction to the worst pay-per-view of all time. Ian Martin, what's up? All right, let's see what the chat says. All right, Willie James Hoff says, deport the crackers to Europe. They brought disease. Uh, Big Nick Digger says, Diaz bros don't fight anymore. Zach Neeser, read Cowboys tweet. Madison McKenzie says, having fun, you guys? Absolutely. Ole Samuel Ole says, isn't Takashi and I missed it. Noah Cribb, better be all free on ESPN. Mike Lewis says, worst, I agree. Drunk Savage, how was the Triton after party? Well, it got shut down. David Glant says, they might strip uh, Robert. Super chat. Simply pump. I feel for Calvin preparing for all that and not getting a shot overall. I'm disappointed. It's crazy. Yeah. And this PPV and the rest of the card is underwhelming. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Simply pump. I mean, yeah, Calvin Gaslam just completely got the shaft here, right? He's going to get paid. So I, I don't. Feel, I really don't feel bad for Calvin. You know, it does suck. You know, you go through a training camp and, and he's going to be taken care of. But, you know, you have that shot at that strap. Why not? You know, I mean, look at this. Um, Look Vic, at the lopsided. Vic Devicious says, "Was Robert Turnia not bothering him yesterday? It was. So, based on what we've read up to so far on on multiple sources, Robert Whitaker was complaining of pain um, yesterday evening, and then by about 10 p.m. he was throwing up. 1 a.m. he went to the hospital, and it was declared a hernia. And That's now right. he is currently in surgery. All right. So there you go. 400 peeps in the chat. Robert Whitaker out of UFC 234." Oh, no, 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 no. I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat saying strip him strip him strip him strip him what there's, do you think about that well I think there's a very important thing in the chat right here Manny C says something and karma for cutting Artem Lobov the MMA gods have spoken backup plan pantless ring card main event fight and that couldn't save this card yes, I agree Manny I agree it, that's, that's what happens karma's a bitch Artem Lobov gets cut and yeah, name here says let him keep the title. Honestly, that that is that is a question to to roll around in everybody's minds. Does do you strip him or or does he keep the, the you know, title? I, that's a loaded question. I'm still trying to process the, this information. Yeah, it's not like it's like last minute he gets hurt and he you know he fought that whole that crazy fight against Yo Romero. Mm-hmm. That was a, one of one of the better fights I've seen in a long time. That was a war. Um, Whitaker's a, he's a he's a beast. He just has his injury problem. He he doesn't. He's not lucky, right? To strip him sucks. So what I would say is they love throwing interim belts out there, right? right. If they want to fucking throw a strap out there, throw that dopey interim belt. They do it anyway, you know. Throw it out there and fucking put Kelvin versus Adesanya. Shen would hit the nail on the head, in my opinion. That's for pay per views. As a fan, I don't give a fuck. I just want to see the best fight. Right. This is not the best fight. As excited as... Don't get me wrong. I'm excited to see it. But it's not the best fight. It's so lopsided. I mean, if Anderson wins, it would be fantastic. If Adesanya beats the fuck out of Anderson... Could you imagine this, right? Adesanya gets in that cage tonight. Main event. We got a five-round fight. And Adesanya humiliates Anderson Silva, Mm. arguably the greatest of all time, retires him, and that's what you're left with. That's the taste in in your mouth after watching this pay-per-view that would be a disaster 
it would be a complete disaster. At least at a co-main event, something happens, he gets mutilated. You still have Whitaker versus Gastelum, right? right. You're like, okay, we're just going to have to try to forget that. But now the last taste in your mouth could be Adesanya, the style bender, destroying Silva. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- I don't want to see that. I love Anderson. He got me into this shit. Right. I hope Anderson wins or he at least puts up a fight here. But man, oh man, this could be a complete mess. Now, I do have some conflicting news from ESPN. Ooh, drama. Whoa. It's not drama. It's Whoa. Conflicting. Now, All right, breaking. <laughs> Jesse, read us the news. <laughs> According to Twitter, uh, Brett Okamoto and all of the other CBS Sports saying that he's in surgery today. That is not the case according to ESPN. ESPN, uh, UFC President Dana White told ESPN that Whitaker complained of pain in his abdomen late last night and was taken to a local hospital. The Aussie champ was diagnosed with a hernia and will undergo surgery later Sunday. So right now it looks like a waiting game for him. He's just sitting in the hospital. Well, all right. He's not fighting. Well, Mm -hmm. the question is, is he going to have surgery today? Yes or no? We'll find out. I hope he gets better. You know, as much as we're fucking around, I hope he gets better. You know what I I hope as well? That this is not a fucking pay-per-view anymore. (laughs) Give me my money back. I fucking paid. Yeah. Fuck. Anyone in the chat have to pay for this? Now, we pay because we do this show. We do the reaction. So, unfortunately, we got to pay for this bullshit. If I was a fan, I would not pay for any of this shit. And if you don't want to, well, become a patron and jump into our private Discord. They can help you out over there. Oh, Luke Thomas. Hey, Luke. Rob knew about this a hernia don't come in one day. <laughs> mhm. Mhm. What do you think about that? No, I don't think so. Listen, I mean, you can't really unless you're a fucking doctor, you can't always determine what's going on with your body. You feel pain and sometimes you just leave it alone because it's just pain, you think it's going to go away and then it turns into something else. And I think that's what happened here. I think he probably was experiencing pain. He he tried to wait it out to see if it would go away. He started throwing up, and that's when he realized there was a problem. I mean, it happens with anybody who get, who gets a hernia, or even like something like appendicitis. That shit happens. So you can't always know what's gonna happen. That's why I'm not I'm not too upset at the fact that he was pulled because it's not really his fault. You know, like how is he supposed to know that he was gonna get a hernia? I don't know. I see in the chat, Aussie Outlaw. What's up? I saw Aussie Outlaw last night. He was in our friend Carrie's uh, stream. So there's Aussie Outlaw. Australia. Let me know if there's any Australians in the chat. And do you have tickets for this event that it has a new main event? It's 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 changed up. Robert Whitaker injured, and now it is the style bender, the last style bender versus the spider. Anderson Silva is your main event, and I expressed it over and over how I feel about this, but we need to know what you think about this. Uh, Zach Neeser said it best. He said it's the UFC's fault for not having a plan. Yep. Jay Smooth says he's always hurt, though. It's true. Willie James Huff says, fuck Australia. Nikolai 69 says Anderson looks like a soggy goat. Easy Peasy says, why is this pay-per-view oh, the Australia super chat. in Australia again? Super Chat, Simply Pump. Ali Abdelaziz versus Noah for main event. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Make that happen, Dana. Make that happen. Uh, hernia from too much kangaroo dick in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a hernia. I, I think I got a hernia when I found out the news. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? The card sucks already. How? As if it could suck anymore. Mm-hmm. This happens. Like, you can't, you can't make this shit up. Dana White must have been like, he must have took a, a loose diarrhea this morning when he found out the news. He probably shit all over the place. Mm. A splattered bowl. Or he's just rolling around in his money, not giving uh, a fuck. Super chat. Luke Thomas. No excuses. I have three hernias right now. <laughs> Duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Thomas is a fucking savage over there. All he's right. got three hernias. Aussie Outlaw says venue tonight holds 50,000 people. Some Moke something says he needs some shrimp on the bar. On the Barbie? Oh, uh, Richard Sager says Adesanya stepping in. Luke Thomas abdominal hernia will not kill you. Jared Smallbone, what is a hernia? Name here says no plans equals no watch. Izzy versus Kelvin says Matt eighty eight. Stephen Martinez is laughing in the chat. By the way, I want to play some. I want to show something real quick. And we've got a new MMA hole, Mike Lewis. What's up, friend? We're good. We'll be live tonight, so uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not. I'm gonna go to our private Discord over here, our secret community society. If you want to be become part of that, become a patron, and thank you to the existing peeps in there. Um, but there was real, real in the chat. Uh, he well, he dropped in something. Dana White was going back and forth with people, and this is actually pretty funny. We can pull this together. Oh, we got a donation. Friends, stop the Siberian Express, choo choo, motherfuckers. LGBTQ Whitaker. The UFC knew this. Israel weighed in at 185, the Aussie at 186, looking soft. 
Dana White fucked Whitaker's wife and that's what triggered the explosion. <laughs> this is a PPV? <laughs> what a fucking joke. <laughs> Silva v. Israel is a sideshow. Fat Galvin v. Israel is better. Interesting. Mm. There you go. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I, that's, that's those all true things that happen. All right, let's go to our Zoom over here. Thank you to the donations. I appreciate that. Very nice. Of the peeps to, to <laughs> contribute to this ridiculousness. All right, let's scroll into here. This is a shout out to Real Real. Okay? Evelyn Olivier says, "I paid eight hundred dollars for my ticket. I oh. want my money back." You you know what? So in Vegas, you can get your money back if something like this happens. Boom! I've done it. Triggered. <laughs> ah! Jordan Alex is triggered. We are throwing a watch party with a bunch of dudes, so I will only pay a few bucks for this, but I shouldn't have to pay anything. The card should be a fight night. I am triggered. <laughs> and that sucks, too. If you it think about it, a watch party. How many people are throwing watch parties and getting together with, with their friends and stuff because they were excited for the main event, and now the main event's not even happening? Like, What kind of wa watch parties are going to be now? I tell you what. The people that bought the tickets, Australia got fucked. They got absolutely fucked. This was earlier, all right? So Real Real, shout out to Real Real, went on social media. This, I think, was on Instagram. Yeah, it looks like on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Action Junkies Podcast says, sick card tomorrow, Dana White. David Lenardi, 28, says, Action Junkies Podcast, it's the worst card I've ever seen. Dana White says, David Lenardi, 28. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> you are a fucking idiot and definitely not a fight fan. Watch The Bachelor tomorrow, you puss. Wow. So that, that was said before we found out that Robert Whitaker, okay, this is Dana White talking to the fans, right? This was said before we found out that Robert Whitaker was injured, okay? Robert Whitaker is indeed injured. Mm. And honestly, I think I'd rather watch The Bachelor. <laughs> I think I'd rather watch it. So Dana White, you should, he should be apologized. I want to see a written apology by Dana White. You can't stop this Unbelievable. Choo -choo motherfuckers. Manny C. On the week Artem was cut, the MMA gods are not happy. Maybe every <laughs> no, never forget everything happens in in threes. So we've got Artem cut from the UFC. Uh, Robert, yeah, the goat right over there. There, all right. Uh, Robert Whitaker pulled from UFC 234. What is the third thing that's going to happen? Everything happens in threes. I don't know. I think the fact that we're going to do the stream in our underwear. Jesse's in her underwear. I I'm in my underwear as well. We had to go live because we couldn't believe this. Like, you can't make this shit up. So, we're, I want to end with this. And thank you, 500 people watching. Very nice to see our new friends in here and our old friends hanging with the boys. But hanging with the boys. I want to end with this. If you're just jumping in, Robert Whitaker out. And the Stylebender, last Stylebender versus the Spider is your new main event. It is a five-round fight. And there is no belts on the line. I don't give a fuck about belts. Someone donated Shen Wood and said that Adesanya versus Gaslam is the fight to make. Not sure why we're not seeing that. I would love to know from Dana White. Mm -hmm. The post-fight press conference should be very interesting tonight. But Dana White, what are your thoughts on him? All smug and saying these things. Yeah. And now this happens. I mean... He has a lot to say, well, Dana. Let's keep one thing in mind. Dana White has one a reputation to uphold for himself, a reputation to uphold for the UFC, and I think a, a reputation to uphold for the fighters as well. And I think for Robert Whitaker, he, I think Dana White also understands that Robert Whitaker couldn't have helped what happened to him. And I don't think that he's he's really good at saying what he believes or what what's going on in his mind. But he also has to be careful, especially in a situation like this, because a lot of people are going to want their money back. A lot of people are going to be giving the UFC hell right now because of the card that we're, be, we're given for, for a pay-per-view. Mm. Because people are right. This, is, this should be a fight night. The, this card that we have right here should be a fight night. So a lot of people are going to be extremely upset. And if Dana White doesn't say anything about stripping Whitaker because a lot of people want him stripped. And then other people don't want him stripped. So there's a, there's a lot to take into consideration before Dana White can just be... She can just come out and say what's on his mind. He has to be smug. He has to be confident and and act like nothing's wrong, you know? I and it is the UFC's fault. Uh, Zach Neeser said it best. It's the UFC's fault for, for not having a backup plan. I'd rather have a horse shit on my face for two hours than watch this fucking main event, main card. This is ridiculous. I'm not paying for this shit. It's not why well, I, I already paid. I don't, know, I don't know what I do now. I, I, this is ridiculous. Anyway, we will be live for this tonight. This shit show will be complaining for... 
the duration of this card, the whatever they're going to put in front of us, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they'll say that this is a fight night. Maybe they'll throw us a bone. That would be nice. I don't know how do you help out the fans who purchase tickets to the event. Mm-hmm. Poor people in Australia. Mel- Melbourne is getting fucked right now. <laughs> it's, I, would, I would light the stadium on fire. No backup plan. No backup plan at all. And now this is your card. Lando Venato moved up from the pre-prelims as your co-main event. Versus Marcos Mariano. <sighs> Man. Here's the deal. Bet DSI. Save your money on pay-per-views, right? Don't buy the pay-per-view. And just throw some money around. Uh, bet DSI is the best way to place a bet. Mm-hmm. 20 years in the game. Link in the description. We have a promo code called MMA Hole. MMA Hole. You type that fucker in. And you get double your money. So bet DSI, link in the description. Go win yourself some cash. And um, yeah, let's final thoughts from the chat. We'll wind this thing down. We'll see you tonight. Murky Mark says, wasted my ESPS, ESPN Plus trail on this shit. Fuck my life. Real Real says, how the fuck do you go from pre-prelims to co-main? Ha 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 ha. Fucking Dana White sucks. Vic says, make it a complaint companion. <laughs> Bong Jitsu says, Gus about to stress eat himself to a heavyweight. Two joints. Yep, Jay. You right, bro. Leo UFC says, Dana hypocrite bitch white. Worst card in UFC history. Justin Vaughn says, no chance it goes to TV at last minute. It's 100% a pay-per-view. You can cancel your pay-per-view, says Luke Thomas. Law of Attraction says, the Drunk Savage, do card. Post Reloaded says, peace out. Jay Smooth, that money is gone. User Anonymous says, Jim Crute should be co-main. Mm. James Merritt says, remove that dislike, bro. User Anonymous says, free POV now. All right. So this is what I want you to do. In the comments section, we're going to wind this thing down. We'll be live tonight for the pay-per-view. Um, but in the comments section down below, I want you to write a letter to Dana White. Mm. Okay? Everyone, have your complaints down below and write your letter. Let us know what you have to say to Dana White. We want to know your thoughts on that whole situation. <sighs> it's a sad day, Jesse. Robert Whitaker out. No more title fight. Anderson Silva will be fighting Adesanya as your main event. We will see you tonight. Alien music. Don't be an a hole. Be an M M A hole.